Hello there again guys, welcome again, and today we will be getting the mean of grouped data. But what is grouped data? Okay, you see in my previous video, I talked about the mean, median, and mode of ungrouped data, and yung ungrouped data, ganito ang hitsura. The data are merely enumerated and they are given as individual data points. So, naka-enumerate lang yung data. It's like raw data. Ang grouped data, on the other hand, is a data presented in a frequency distribution table. So, this is what a frequency distribution table looks like. We have class intervals and class frequency. Each class interval or each group, okay, has their corresponding class frequency. So kung titingnan nyo dito sa first class natin, yung 40 to 50, meron siyang class frequency na 4. Ang ibig sabihin nun, may apat na numbers na kabilang sa group na 40 to 50. So maybe we have here 40, 41, 45, 49, okay? May apat na number na kabilang dito. Ganon ang grouped data. Okay, so sometimes we will also be dealing with grouped data. Okay, now, so how do we find the mean of grouped data? Okay, to find the mean of grouped data using the class mark, the following formula is used. Okay, so this is x bar. Pisa binito mean. That is equal to the summation of fx divided by the summation of f. And f here is the frequency. x is the class mark. Okay, so let's have an example. Given a group data, calculate the mean of the mid-year test scores of students in math. Okay, so, so yun, the data is presented in a frequency distribution table. And yung first step na gagawin natin is to add two columns. Okay, nag-add to yung dalawang columns. One column for the class mark and one column for fx. Okay, so ano ang ilalagay natin sa class mark or sa x? Okay, so class mark is simply the number in between the lower limit and the upper limit. Okay, so what are those? In each interval, there is a lower limit and the upper limit. So ito ang tinatawag nating lower limit. Ito naman yung upper limit. Ang class mark, that is the number in between the lower limit and the upper limit. So how do we get the class mark? Okay, so this is one method. We can add the two numbers. We can add 41 and 45 then divided by 2. Okay, so if we add 41 and 45 divided by 2, the result is actually 43. And there is an easier method kung medyo hindi malaki yung, yung class interval natin. Okay, we can actually count. Yung class interval natin is 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So, ano ba yung number in between 41 and 45? That is 43. Okay? The number, it, the number in between 41 and 45 is 43. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so ganun lang. Same din lang ang gagawin dito sa next class. What is the number in between 36 and 40? 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. The number in between them is 38. Yun ang gagawin mo hanggang sa makuha mo lahat ng class mark. Kompleto na natin yung under the class mark. The next thing we're going to do is to compute for fx. And fx, that is simply the product of f and x. That is multiplying the frequency to its corresponding class mark. So ganito lang yan. That is 1 times 43. That is 43. 8 times 38. Oh, kailangan ko ng calculator. It is 304. And then, same ang gagawin, multiply, multiply, until makompleto yung uh, column. 
Okay guys, so nakagato na natin yung x at saka yung fx. Now if we're going back to the formula, that is the summation of fx. Ano ang gagawin dito? We are going to add all the numbers, all the values sa fx column. Okay, so i-add natin lahat to. Summation of fx. Okay, so para makuha yan, pag adin lang natin lahat ng mga numbers na to. Okay, so let's, I'll just use my calculator. And the answer there is 1,200. Now, 1,200. Now, kailangan naman natin yung summation of F. So, so pag adin lahat natin yung mga values na nasa F column or yung column ng frequency. Okay, so dito siya, summation of F. 40 yung population size natin dito. So, there are 40 data all in all here. Summation of F is 40. And if we are going to divide that, makukuha na natin yung mean. Okay, so dividing that, we will be having an answer of 30. So the mean of the mid-year test scores of students in mathematics is 30. Okay, so review. Paano ulit? Binigyan tayo ng group data to get the mean. We add two columns for the class mark and the fx. And then after that, we get the class mark. And then we compute for the fx. Pag adin lahat ng mga fx para makuha yung summation of fx. And then pag adin lahat yung f para makuha yung summation of f. And then substitute the formula and boom, we already have the mean. Okay, so that is how you're going to get the mean using the class mark. There is actually another method and that is when you will be using the coded deviation that will not be talking about that. So I hope I help you in this video. Please subscribe and uh, see you on my next video.